And then this is where the secret boxes are placed. One there and one also over here. Okay, so first I start off with a two by one with three triangles on each side and then one triangle on the back side for the tool cupboard. So if you can, you're gonna wanna stone it all off except for this square ceiling right here. Make that one wood because we're gonna remove it later and add a hatch. So add your tool cupboard here in the back triangle. You can go ahead and wall that off right now. I leave the soft side facing inwards just to make it less suspicious so they don't know exactly where the tool cupboard is. Then on this triangle, right next to the door, I'm going to place a wall and frame. Make the hard side of the wall face the frame. And then I'm going to put a single door and a double door and the double door will act as an airlock. Of course, as long as you have a lock on it. Then you can go ahead and place three furnaces in here. They don't stick through the door or anything. And then once you have enough metal to make a shelving unit and four boxes, you can throw one of the drop box loot rooms over here in the corner. This is pretty hard to do, but if you do it perfectly, the shelf won't stick through the walls. But it has to be really perfect. See there, the shelf doesn't stick through either wall. And then we can add a frame here. But put the boxes before you place the door in there. So if you place the boxes like this, you can fit four of them in there. And then go ahead and place your door. And the shelf doesn't stick through either side. At this point you should have sheet metal doors all around. Okay, once you're ready to make the secret loot room, you're going to make sure it's clear up top and then destroy the ceiling by either using a hatchet or bone knife, whatever you want to use. So you come up here and add a couple walls on the back, but also give yourself a couple windows. And then we're gonna finish this honeycomb off as well up here. So you can stone all these off.
And then you can add a wall on this honeycomb too right now. So next, place three doorways up here next to the hole. And then finish off the ceilings up here. Except leave this one opened up. So we're gonna demolish these stairs and then place a roof down here. Upgrade it to stone, and it'll be a lot easier to place boxes up here. You can place two boxes on top of this. They need to be perfectly placed all the way touching this wall so that the ceiling will be able to be placed on top. Now cover them up with the ceiling and then drop down and finish off that triangle. The boxes will be accessed through these doorways. So go ahead and remove this ceiling right here. And then you can finish off the first floor down here with a small room right here for a sleeping bag and a campfire. So we're gonna do the same thing over here, like this room. Make sure it can't be seen through these walls. Okay, and then place your boxes. Now add your frame and door. And then we're gonna put a doorway here for the bag as well. You're also gonna want to add a door right here to airlock the hatch. And then once you have your hatch made, make a frame up here and then put the hatch in. Now you should definitely have window bars on these and wood shutters so they can't see what you're doing up here. And then you're just going to throw two armored doors on these two doorways. Make sure the door handle is on the opposite side of the roof so they can't look through this area and see the box. and then add the doorway over here as well. And then we're gonna put a sheet metal door on this center doorway.
And that's pretty much it. Lastly, I would add some triangle honeycomb on each of the drop box loot rooms. So here and over here. Make them go all the way up. And then hop up and upgrade these ceilings of stone too. So that's pretty much it. That's the entire base built. So you'll come in the front door, you have your furnaces. And then this is also an airlock. And you have a sleeping area with a fire. And you also have two drop loot rooms with four boxes in each. And then your main loot should be stored up here on these sides in these boxes. Now this base is designed so that raiders will see these armor doors, but they will not blow them because there is nothing on this side to get to and there's nothing here. When they see this square up here, they will most likely just blow this sheet metal door, see the hatch and assume that these go to the hatch outwards. So if a raider does come up, they should look in here and see there's just a square. And that will make them not want to rocket these out. They will see this roof right here and they will see that it just goes to this one square. And they will not want to rocket the top off. Because if they do, they would get right to this hidden loot room. So you're counting on them not to rocket off the top of your base. Go all the way to the top real quick. Would you pop this off? I'm assuming this is like the main okay. weakness. I'm assuming that they would not pop off the top because of the sheet metal there. Yeah, I, I'm just thinking if I did go in there, I would, uh, um, you know, I'll just show you. Like, I'm assuming that they see this roof and it scares them to not go through the top because there's that one roof sticking to the top. And also they can kind of see in here and tell that it's just like the battlements of the base and not really a loot room at all. Right. So, so yeah, so, so this is what I would do right here. And that does not no. damage the armored door. That's the good part. Uh, I would do this because um, if I'm going through that armored door, it would be four rockets anyways. And I want to know it's behind that sheet metal door. And there's oftentimes a shotgun trap facing towards the door, so this will give me an upward angle at it. Okay, there you go. That's what I would expect them to do. Yep, I'd get that. I'd be like, oh, there's loot right here. I think, oh, that was an easy raid. So 
So that's actually the that's the furnace. See now I'd be here like uh But you're not even questioning these armored doors at this point. That's the good part. All the stuff is hidden under those. Right, so now I'd have to, you know. Okay. 